All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So just like the video states, I'm gonna be opening my boxes from Status Racing. I got some custom made SFI approved bucket seats. So I got the boxes right here behind me. You can see these next to my lawnmower. And uh, I'm gonna open them up and see what comes in the box. So this is what you should expect if you place an order. And then uh, we'll talk about more why I went with Status Racing. So let me get started here. I got the big box pre-opened from the smaller one. Got some stickers, got some status racing stickers. Show you guys those. Super dope. Always love receiving cool stuff like that. So you get these cards that say, welcome to the status family. Uh, thank you for your purchase and support. We'd love to see these installed on your ride and tag us. And of course some stickers. Pretty sure these are going to be the uh, oh harnesses. All right, cool. All right, so I went with the uh, six point uh, SFI harnesses. Uh, they got the date on them, so December 2022. That's how long these will be good for. So two harnesses. Look at these over here. All right, so I totally said six point and they're, they're five point uh, cam lock harnesses, uh, similar to what I had in the car before, so. A little correction there, give me a little cutter. So these are the so these are the uh, rail mounts. This is what's gonna mount onto the side of the seat and then onto your bracket or if you gotta fap something up for it to fit in your car. Okay, my baby's home. All right, cool, so I've got the five-point harnesses. I've got the brackets that bolts onto the side of the seat that will bolt into another bracket that bolts into the car. Uh, but we'll go over that more in depth in the next video when I actually install them. What's up, baby? All right, so now I'm gonna open up the big box, which I pre-opened and look at my seats for the first time. So I haven't, I've only seen them in pictures and I did kind of design them. So I kind of had an idea what they're gonna look like, but I haven't really seen them in person. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out. <laughs> Dude, nice is not even the word. Bruh, these are sick. <laughs> God, that came out so good. Let me pull this camera up closer. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put this bad boy right here. Let me get this camera closer. All right. All right, so I saw this in pictures before, but I didn't see it in person, and holy, holy cow, he killed it. Man, and I was, what's crazy is I was just gonna put Toronto Racing the words, not the entire logo, and uh, Justin that status is the one that said, man, we should do the entire logo, and he was absolutely right. Man, that came out so nice. Pictures do not do these justice at all. Of course, top priority, important stuff here. Got the uh, FIA standard uh, approved logo, proof Sigur. Competition seat right there. You can see the bolts for the uh, side mounts. You can see the slots for your harnesses. And if I'm not mistaken, right underneath it is for your fifth point, and that's for your anti-submarine belt. Man, 
And this seat is plush. It is really, really plush. All right, let me uh, let me head inside, and then we'll talk a little bit more about status racing and why I chose to go with these. I mean, besides the fact that they look this baller, you know, everything is embroidered real nice, real heavy. It's orange. Oh, I gotta move the seat to match up to the car, but I mean, this is exactly what I wanted. I also got it back here, status. Got the slots, super stoked. I mean, all the material, everything feels great. Yeah, this is a, this is a high quality seat right here. Worth every penny. All right, so let me get the seat inside and then we'll talk a little more about status. All right, so yeah, I put the seat in my office chair uh, because I just had to sit in it. And of course, I've already actually sat in these chairs before in these uh, in this style of seat before I ordered mine. Uh, so I knew what to expect. Uh, super comfortable. I uh, definitely like how it hugs me around the sides. But before we start talking about that kind of stuff, let's go back to why I decided to change out of my uh, last set of seats, which were um, Braum seats. So the seats that I had before, uh, they weren't as tight around the sides of my legs like this or around my waist right here. And on top of that, they, uh, they reclined. So when I started getting more aggressive in my driving, I could actually feel the seat uh, sort of flexing uh, where it was supposed to recline. And then secondly, I like to uh, left foot brake. So when my left foot isn't on the dead pedal and I was you know, driving super aggressive, I felt my like body <laughs> start sliding in the seat because it didn't have this bolstering on the side to uh, keep you in place. So what I was doing was I was really cranking down on my harnesses to keep my body you know, in place as much as possible. And even then uh, going around turns and stuff, like I could feel my legs just like kind of they wanted to do their own thing as I had my left foot on the brake and my right foot on the gas. It was just like, I was trying to fight it with my upper body. It was really difficult. So when that started happening, I was like, man, I really need to start looking into some seats. And there are a ton of FIA uh, approved seats that can do what I need them to do. But I didn't want to buy a seat that like other people would have, if that makes any sense. I wanted something unique overall. Head to toe, I wanted it to be something that represented myself and Toronto racing. So looking at seats, I found Status Racing and I saw all these seats they were pumping out and I'm like, man, those are super cool. And I found them on Instagram and um, I jumped to their website and I started looking at seats and I thought, okay, these are definitely, you know, a seat I would want to go with. Now it wasn't until recently where I took a trip to California doing some uh, extracurricular car activities and I decided, uh, well, actually I went to visit a friend of mine, Mike at uh, MFR Engineering. And I was telling him like, yeah, I'm gonna go check out some status seats. And he was like, oh really? Like definitely go check them out. So I set up uh, like an appointment with uh, Justin over at status and he was a super nice guy. He gave us a complete tour of the entire facility. And just to cut the story short, um, I was allowed to pick sort of my colors for the stitching and I got to touch all the different materials that they had to offer. They got over 60 plus, I mean more than 60 uh, materials and colors to choose from that you can customize the seat to your liking. So no one out there is gonna have a seat like mine. Maybe the same shape, maybe the same model, but not customized the exact same way that mine is, especially with my logo in there. All right guys, so I just wanna keep this video short and sweet. Unbox the seats, showed them to you guys. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you think Status knocked it out of the park with the design and the logo? And uh, just leave a comment below. As always, you can DM me on Instagram. I know a couple of you guys have already uh, sent me renderings of what your custom seats would look like for your build and I've been sending other people some of my ideas for the seats that I would throw into uh, into the RAM with like a silver and black theme but still kind of working on that I haven't really uh, solidified anything so that's going to wrap up today's video uh, if you guys like these videos leave a comment below let me know hit that like button and if you love these videos hit that subscribe button until next time guys peace out